hello guys hello everyone yeah welcome to my channel my name is joy white thank you so much for stopping by please if you are new to my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video so in today's video we're going to be learning how to draft a basic trouser pattern all right so the measurements we'll be needing uh we need our, our full length the length of our trouser we need our waist measurement we need our hip circumference our waist circumference our hip circumference we need our round tie measurement we need our knee measurement we need our ankle measurement and we need our band measurement as well the first thing we're going to be doing is the hip we're going to be using the hip measurement to get our box so what i did here is this what i want to do i came down from this top by three inches what i have here i came down by three inches as you can see i came down by three inches then i came in with another three inches so for the front we are going to be working on this part you are seeing here so for now disregard this one you are seeing here but this is what you are going to do because it's very important we will need it for the back so the first thing we are going to do we are going to get our crotch depth our crotch line so the measurement we will need is our hip measurement the hip i'm working with is hip 44 hip 44 so i'm going to be using dividing that hip by four so hip 44 divided by four will give us 11 inches 11 inches so you come here you place your tape this way and mark 11 inches like so you come over here i'll place my tape like so and put down my 11 inches i'm going to be drafting with a pencil and a marker pen so i'll come over here again and put down 11 inches like so i'll come to this point and put down the 11 inches then I get my ruler and connect what I have. All right, so this is it. So now that we've gotten our box, this box, this is our crotch. We are going. The next measurement is to get our hip, the hip measurement. The hip I am working with from the waist to the hip. You need to take your waist to hip. So the waist to the hip I'm working with is eight inches it can be seven it can be eight and it can be nine depending on the size of the client you are working with but for this particular one the waist to the hip is eight inches so i'll come over here and put down the eight inches like so Okay, then I will connect it. Okay, so this is it. So this is our hip. I'm going to just write it on it. This is our hip line. Why this is our crotch line? We're going to take our crotch extension. We're going to be extending this crotch line so in getting the crotch extension we are going to be dividing the hip i'm going to be dividing the hip hip 44 divided by 20.2 what i have here is 2.2 so i'll come over here on this crotch line and put my 2.2 can you see it i'll mark it I get my ruler and extend it like so with my pencil. You 
it is it so this is our crotch extension so the next thing we are going to do we want to get our curve the curve on this part so what i'm going to do now is this i'm going to come come over to the hip line which is this point which i'll come at from this hip line with 0 0.25 0 0.25 so now i'm going to be connecting from this crotch extension to this 0 0.25 i'll get my curve like so and place it this way this is it so now i'm going to blend it up this way so this is our crotch extension so the waist i'm working with is waist 36 yes waist 36 so waist 36 divided by by four will give us nine inches nine inches this is my nine inches and i'm going to be adding that to this measurement to this pattern sorry so i'll add one inch for that can you see it one inch for that i'm going to be connecting from this point to my hip line because i'm adding that but if you are not going to be adding that the one key point you need to notice if you are not adding that you're not going to be adding that to your trouser what you will do is you come in with 0 0.5 can you see it? You can come in with 0 0.5 and connect it to this point. Can you see it? Let me just do something like a broken line. I don't need it. I want to add that to this trouser. Can you see it? Like so. If you are not, that is if you are not adding that to this, to your trouser, you can do this. Can you see it? You come in with 0 0.5 and connect it this way. Then you take your normal waist measurement, which is, let's say I'm taking the 9 inches. You take it and then you connect to your hip. But for me, I'm going to be adding that to this pattern. So I'm not going to be using this. So I'll just take my normal waist measurement, which is 9 inches. Then I added 1 inch for that and connected it to my hip point. Next thing we are going to do is to get our crease line. So in getting our crease line, what we are to do is to measure. I'm going to be measuring what I have from my crotch extension to this point. This is it. What I have is 13.5. 13 13.5. I'm going to divide it by 2. This is it. Divide it by 2. And I mark. So I will measure what I have here. So what I have here is like... 6.6 6.6 so now i'm going to take it down but before i do that we're going to be taking the length of this trouser the length of this trouser so for in taking the length i want this trouser to touch the floor i want it to touch the floor so the length i'm working with is 44 i'm going to place my tape this way can you see it? I place my tape this way on the waistline and I will mark the 44 inches. If you don't want it to touch the floor, what you will do is you just come up with like two inches so it will get to just your ankle point. But for this particular work, I want it to touch the floor. So, so I say what I have here is 6.6. .6. So I'll just take it down 6.6. .6. I'll mark it to the full length of this trouser trouser pattern. So 6.6. .6. Then I'll connect it. I'm going to connect the line. So this is it. So this is our crease line. So the next measurement we are going to take is the knee line. The knee. You just measure what you have here. What I have here is 32.75. You divide it by 2. 
So after dividing it by two, you put a mark there. Then you come up with like two inches or 1.5. Two inches or 1.5. So I'm going to be coming up with, let's just say 1.5. Let me just come up with 1.5. But even if you do two inches, it's still very okay. So this is our what? Knee line. I'm going to rule it. Extend the line. Like so. Okay guys, so the next thing we are going to do is to take our dart. We are going to be taking our dart. So what I have here is 10 inches. 10 inches divided by 2. That gives us 5. 5 inches. So now, for the dart leg, in taking the front dart, you can come down with 4 inches or 4.5. But for this, I'm going to be coming down with 4.5. I'm going to be using 4.5 for the dart. So this is it. That's 4.5. The dart leg. I'll use 0 0.5 on both sides. Can you see it? 0 0.5 on both sides. Then I'm going to connect it. Cutting the dart for the front okay guys so another essential thing we're going to do is to extend this waistline with 0 0.5 i'm going to be extending the, this waistline with 0 0.5 like so so this is the 0 0.5 i'm going to extend it this way and connect it to this first that leg. Can you see this that leg? So I'm going to be connecting it like so. Okay. The next measurement we are going to take is <coughs> our knee measurement. So the knee I'm working with is. 18 inches 18 inches so we're going to be dividing 18 inches like so so 18 inches divided by 2 that gives us 9 inches 9 inches so i'll place my tape this way i'm going to be spreading the 9 inches on both sides so i'm going to put 4.5 here on this crease line i'll put my tape on 4.5 and mark here then I will come over here and take my 9 inches. 9 inches. Can you see it? So, I will come to the hem and do the same thing. I'm going to be taking 9 inches for the hem. Like so. And I will connect it. What I will do next is... So connect it. So I get my ruler and connect it this way, meeting this nine inches. We'll put down. Okay, guys. So we're going to be connecting from our knee line to to the crotch line. So I'm going to press place my ruler this way and connect this way from this knee line to this crotch line like so so the next one the next thing we are going to do is to connect our crotch extension to this point so i'm going to be placing my curve this way i'll place my curve this way can you see it so it's not so curvy then i connect from this crotch point crotch extension sorry to the knee line like so like so so can blend the line i'm going to be blending the line here i don't want too much curl so i'll just use my marker pen to blend the line so another thing we have to do but we're not going to do it now is to come down from this crotch jet crotch depth sorry we're going to come down with 0 0.5 we'll be coming down with 0 0.5 so we're going to be doing that 
while drafting the back pattern okay guys so now we are going to be drafting at the back of this trouser block that we have here now so one thing we need to note is this from hip 36 to 38 you can go in with 0 0.75 then from hip 39 to probably 40 something 50 you will go in with one inch now what i'm going to do is this you are going to place your tape on this crotch depth line this line you are seeing here i'm going to place my tape like so and go in from this crotch line with one inch remember the hip we are working with is hip 44 so i'm going in on this crotch line with one inch here like so then we'll come over to the waistline on the waistline we'll go in with two inches then we we'll connect so now this is our back depth line now back, back crotch depth line this is it now i hope you understand so on the waistline we are going to come up with 1.5 i'm going to come up with 1.5 from this waistline like so with 1.5 for someone with a big bum you can use two inches so now i'm going to connect it this 1.5 this line up like so i'm going to extend it extend the line up after doing that we are going to take the waist line so the waist we are working with is 36 remember the waist we took then was 36 then one inch for that i'm placing my tape this way like so to get the waist line so nine inches for the waist then remember we are using that for the back then one inch for that which makes it what 10 inches so on this waistline we are going to come up with half an inch so we're going to extend it can you see it so we're taking the back waistline this is half an inch so what i am going to do we're going to connect from this point to this point in getting the back waist so okay so now the next thing we have to do is to get our dart the dart for the back so now what i will do you place your tape this way and divide what you have into two so we have 10 inches we have 10 inches so i'm going to be dividing into two that gives us what five what we have is five so this is now our back dart for the back dart I'm going to come down with 5.5 you can use 5 inches or maximum 5.5 so i'm going to be using 5.5 for the back that okay this is it for now we are done with this for now so the next thing we are going to do is to get the back crotch extension the back crotch extension so in getting the back crotch extension we are going to be dividing our hip measurements. The hip we are working with is hip 44. So hip 44 divided by 10. I'm getting 4.4. 4.4 for the crotch extension. So here is what we are going to do. You are going to play 4.4. This is 4.4. This is 4.4. So I'm going to place my tape this way on 4.4 and mark sorry the 4.4 this is the 4.4 can you see it this is the 4.4 and i will extend this crotch line meeting that 4.4 okay this is it so that is it for the crotch extension so what we are going to do next is this on this same crotch depth depth line i'm going to come up come out with 0 0.25 on this line 
we are working with the back now so we are not doing anything with the front that's why i'm using another marker pen so you can understand it so now I place my tape this way i come out the same thing we did for the front with 0 0.25 can you see it so i come out with 0 0.25 we're trying to get our curve for the back so after doing that i'm going to place my curve this way to connect it to that back crotch extension from this crotch depth line can you see it so i've gotten it after doing that we are going to blend it up this way this is our back crotch extension and we have gotten our curve all right then so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to take our hip measurement so the hip we're working with is hip 44 so i'll place my tape this way on this back remember we're taking the back we're working with the back now so you're going to place your tape on this back crotch depth line and mark so i'll put down the 44 i'm working with hip 44 i will put it down here like so can you see it so what i will do is to extend this crotch line backward like this can you see it same thing with the hip line okay this is it guys you put it back whatever you have here you bring it over to this side then the next thing we have to do is to connect we're going to be connecting from this waistline to this hip to the hip line like so okay so now what we are going to do is to add half an inch i'm going I'm trying to take this off half an inch on the nail line we are going to be adding half an inch on the nail line on both lines on the knee and the ankle points we're going to be adding half an inch half an inch sorry so you come over here on this line you add half an inch so now i'm going to be connecting from the ankle to the knee line using my ruler so from the ankle to the knee line okay so we're done with the with the hem of this with the bottom of this trouser so we need to get that one done so now what we are to do is to connect from this point from this crotch back crotch extension we are going to be connecting to the knee line and connect from this back crotch extension line like so outer seam this way you are going to connect also like so like so then for the hip i'm going to use my curve to blend both lines remember i talked about the front that we're going to come down with half an inch so now i'm going to bring down the half an inch let me use my pencil to do that you come down on the waistline with half an inch i'm going to close the dart we're going to close this dart before we can do that so you close that and get your curve so here is what i'm going to do like so to get our slope okay guys this is it how to draft a basic trouser pattern so we've been able to draft out the front and the back pattern this is it so if you follow the process you will definitely what get it just follow it step by step using your accurate measurement you need now is your tracing wheel 
so what i did i just placed another paper underneath so i'm going to be tracing out the pattern now so what i will do first is to trace out the front pattern all the lines on green the front i'm going to be using my tracing with like so to trace it out can you see what i'm doing this is what i'm going to do so on this part i want it to reflect that there is a dot here so i'm going to close this this front just to indicate that there is a dot word here so this is it this is what i'm going to do can you see it so when i'm done tracing i'm going to show you what it looks like okay guys so after tracing i removed the master pattern then you can see me now using my marker pen to draw on all the tracing line i made can you see it? so i'm connecting all the dots together all the markings we have there yeah. all right guys here is what we have now we've been able to duplicate the front can you see it so in our next class i'm going to be showing you how to get the band and the zipper fly and we're going to be sewing this basic standard trouser we have just drafted out thank you so much so please guys if you find this video very helpful kindly hit on that subscribe button turn on notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video like and share this video make your comment till our next video where we'll be sewing this trouser pattern thank you